Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I want to look at how hard is it to make $100 of profit a day using any of the Ryan's method passive income streams that is Amazon FBA, Amazon Merch, print on demand, non Amazon Merch, print on demand, uh, Amazon KDP, and then I'm also going to sprinkle on a couple complementary approaches to making passive income online to what we just talked about. So I really want to break down kind of my own personal experience and also just talk a little bit of strategy because there are multiple ways to get to $100 a day from each income stream. So we're going to cover all of that in this video. Let's get started. All right, so we're talking about making $100 of profit a day. And like I said, I'm going to break down how we can get there. There are multiple ways. Uh, I like to take the complementary approach, meaning if we're going to do any one of the income streams that I'm talking about in this video, well, if you're good at that, you can probably pivot into any of the other ones and have an edge over people who are just doing that one income stream because they're so complementary in nature. Now, $100 a day is kind of a low bar, uh, especially now that everybody's feeling the uh, central bank monetary policy and what that results in with inflation and whatnot. Uh, so $100 a day, while it has like almost like a clickbaity effect when you see it, uh, it's really about as low as we should be aiming. That's just my personal thoughts. So the first passive income method I wanted to talk about is with Amazon FBA. Now, when we see FBA, I know a lot of people who are on the outside looking in that haven't done it just think, oh, too much work, too much money required. And I'm not going to tell you you're wrong, okay? Because there's a lot of work required up front, and then it becomes very passive later on. Uh, and there's definitely money required. So if you don't have the money, I get it. Don't do FBA. But I just wanted to really quickly note that when you are launching an Amazon FBA product, there's a couple ways to approach it. Like I've sold products as expensive as $150 per product. Okay. $149.99 to be exact. And I'm actually going to record another video and talk a little bit more about that story. So make sure you guys subscribe so you catch it. That'll probably be on Friday this week. But anyways, you can decide like what price point your product is going to sell at and generally speaking while not guarantee but generally speaking the higher the price point the more money you actually make per sale so if you want to sell um let's just say your product sells for 29.99 and you've got a 33 percent profit margin well if you can sell 10 of those a day making 10 dollars profit per sale there you go. You only need to sell 10, 10 units a day and you're making $100 a day. Or you can go a different route, maybe sell um, three units a day at $33 a day profit per sale, like maybe the um, $149.99 product, which I'm not going to name right now. Maybe I will in the next video. But yeah, you can only you only need to sell three of those a day to get to your $100 a day mark. So you got to factor all these things into your decision-making process when you're doing something like Amazon FBA that is so open-ended, you can... I mean, just look at Amazon's catalog. You already know. You can sell anything you want, basically. So um, you got to make these decisions for yourself. And obviously, there it's a nuanced thing. You don't just want to make a decision based on how much money you want to make per sale. There's lots of other things. But anyways, uh, by the way, speaking of Amazon FBA, if you would like to take advantage of my Amazon FBA free seven-day mini course, use the link in the description. All I need is your email address. Amazon merch, very complimentary to Amazon FBA. I was just on a call yesterday and... Uh, the person I was talking to, who I think I'm going to have on as a guest for a, uh, a video interview to tell his story, um, very similar to mine, doing Amazon FBA, pivoting into Merch by Amazon. Uh, so I want to hear his story and uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to have him on as a guest. I'm thinking I will. Anyways, Merch by Amazon, very complimentary to FBA. Another great way of selling on Amazon. And what's great also is you don't need to spend your own money on inventory you can literally just create t-shirt designs and, you know, apparel designs, upload them, do a little bit of keyword optimization, and next thing you know, you've got a global passive income business. What's not to love there? With Merch by Amazon, um, I just picked two, com two common price points here. If you want to make $100 a day, uh, you can list your shirts at $19.99. This is for standard t-shirts, which are the most popular products. And you can make $5.23 per sale. So if you make 20 sales a day, you're at your $100 a day mark. You can probably do it for like 19 sales a day. But anyways, $100 a day, just like that. And I know 20 may sound like a lot if you're not doing 20 sales a day. But we know that Amazon Merch is kind of a gamified tier system. And the higher your account tier, the more uploads you can make. So the more live products you've got for sale. 
And the next thing you know, 20 sales a day is nothing. Like if you check my Instagram story, I post my daily sales every single day. So check me out on Instagram. The link's in the description. Yesterday I did 60 sales and broke $200 a day just from Merch by Amazon. So if I can do it, I know you can do it, all right? Uh, or you can sell 69 shirts, nice, at a at $14.99 price point, making a $1.45 royalty per sale. So a couple different ways to get to your $100 a day mark. I'm not trying to push you one way or the other. I mean, I definitely have my recommendations based on my personal experience, but you don't have to agree with me. Like I know people that sell um, higher quantity at lower price point and everybody's got their, got their opinion. Like I, I'd rather make $5 plus profit per sale myself. It also leaves cushion if you wanna run ads and things like that. Uh, you can also sell non Amazon merch print on demand products. So my approach is to prioritize merch by Amazon since I really think this is the highest print on demand uh, earning potential. But then I also take my designs and I upload them to t-shirts on Etsy and on eBay. I put the designs on coffee mugs, sell those on Amazon. You can sell those on Etsy. You can sell print on demand jewelry, which is popping off lately. You can sell print on demand hats. I just did a video on Printful's YouTube channel where I talked about how I was in Miami, so not even working, made $1,500 profit in seven days selling a single hat design on Amazon. By the way, Printful did all the fulfillment and shipping, so I was on easy mode autopilot. You know what I mean? So if I can do it, guys, I know you can do it. So I used an example here. At a $19.95 price point for white mugs, you or this isn't, I'm not telling you your profit margins, but uh, I looked at a, a mug sale that I had yesterday, came through Amazon Seller Central, Gearbubble fulfilled it. It was a 15 ounce white mug. I sold it at $19.99 and I collected shipping. So after Amazon fees, after Gearbubble fees, I took home $5.94 profit off of that sale. Not bad, right? I, I don't think that's too bad. So if you can make 17 sales a day, which doesn't have to be one mug, you can upload hundreds of mugs. If you can just make 17 sales a day, that's another $100 in the bank that day. Every I wanna say every day. I mean, it'd be nice if you can do it consistently, right? By the way, take advantage if you're trying to sell print on demand or if you already do, take advantage of my free weekly print on demand giveaway. Use the link at the top of the description. Entering takes like 10 seconds and two winners will be randomly selected and announced on Sunday. Also check out my print on demand Facebook community. You can find a link in the description. Very complimentary to print on demand, K KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. All right, you can sell print on demand books on Amazon and you guessed it, they will do all of the fulfillment for us. So what is not to love there? Now with KDP, uh, again, there's different ways to approach it. I actually with KDP, because I sell mainly low content books, so I'm not actually like writing books and um, you know spending a lot of time on there because I just, time is my biggest restriction, but you can sell 50 books at a $6.95 price point. And again, this is variable based on a number of factors, like how many pages are in your book, are you print like other stuff like that. But let's just say normal book, uh, you can make $2.02 .02 profit per sale at $6.95. You can sell 50 of those a day, get to $100 a day. Now Amazon, remember, this is international worldwide. KDP has massive reach, bigger reach than the Merch by Amazon program. So before you say, oh, that's not possible. No, it's possible, trust me. Uh, or maybe you sell a book for $14.95, which is a little bit harder of a price point to justify, but I mean, you can sell like mid content books. You can check out websites like BookBolt, and I'll put a link in the description with a coupon code if you guys haven't tried that out yet. And they actually have like interior generators that will create you custom puzzle book interiors. So you could do like your own custom made puzzle books and that can definitely help you command a higher price point. And if people like them, they get reviews, Next thing you know, you maybe you can charge $14.95 for a book. And at that price point, you're making $8.82 profit per sale. You only need 15 sales a day to hit $100. Now, complimentary to what we just talked about, once you feel confident enough, and it, there's, no, there's no restriction on, oh, you can't talk about making money online on YouTube unless you make X amount. There, that doesn't exist, right? So you could be a beginner and just start a YouTube channel and say, look, I'm gonna tell my story start to finish, right? Um, why not? Like YouTube is income. It's complimentary income stream. Uh, I'll hide myself really quickly so you can see like between the two channels that I spend the most time on because uh, time is really the only like constraint that I really have these days. Um, you can see here that the income you make from YouTube ads is variable. I mean, my channel on the left hand side there, uh, I've seen it go up as high as like $7,000 a month in ad revenue. Now, I never started a YouTube channel 
even thinking I was going to monetize it, someone actually recommended that I do. And it was great advice because as soon as I monetized it, the channel growth really took off. I don't know if that's like YouTube favoring channels that are monetized. I have no clue, but somebody said you should do it. I tried it. And next thing you know, channel growth really uh, went rent went off. So, but also, you know, you're going to be subject to fluctuations with YouTube income. And by the way, you can talk about whatever you want on YouTube. I was just saying, Hey, if you're going to make money online, tell your story. I mean, I'm speaking firsthand. Like my two channels here are talking about making money online really. Uh, so, you know, do, do whatever fits you. If this is something you're interested in, it's not that hard. You don't even have to show your face. There's a bunch of channels popping up that like don't even show people's faces. Now. I mean, I have my theories that you probably grow quicker if you do show your face, but you know, it is called YouTube. But uh, anyways, like it's better. Having a channel is better than not having a channel. Uh, also, you know, you could do something like create a website, create a blog. If you're not comfortable on a microphone, you can still type, right? Like I'm only mentioning these things cause I have personal experience at, at being successful with them. I started, uh, I was a web developer. So, I mean, I made websites more or less to become a better developer, but I made websites and like theme them after things that I cared about, created some content and have a couple websites that do get decent traffic. Now you can monetize them any number of ways, but a couple really easy, low hanging fruit ways of monetizing websites are or web traffic is like Google ads, which is the same ad network that pays out your YouTube money. So check that out. And Amazon associates, all right, you can make affiliate income from sending um, traffic to Amazon. And the cool thing is you don't just get a kickback on the product that you may link to, you get kickback on all things in their cart. So, you know, I've had people that like clicked a 9.99, you know, a $10 product checked out but also bought a $500 vacuum next thing you know I'm getting like $50 um, from the vacuum checkout but also I mean the Amazon Associates income has been getting uh, knocked down further and further because Amazon d doesn't need to have that program in general anymore um, everybody knows who Amazon is but as Amazon was a growing website it was nice uh, back in the day you got you got a more higher percent kickback all right, guys, thank you for watching this video. By the way, if you're interested, I do have a full print on demand course showing you how I make six figure print on demand sales every single year. You can find out more using the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon with the new video.